Hey, it's Chris Cowan, that's Brad Munyon, this is This Will Hurt You More Than Us, episode 22. 22. We just went through this, yeah, and I did. already fucked it up. Damn, it has been a month since we've been in the studio. We recorded those last two episodes back to back, so that we would be able to get out of this whole, you know, I don't have walls thing. Right, but <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of work done, so. Yeah, yeah, so we had the foundation ripped up, and, and it is beautiful now. Well, I mean... Well, everything drains now. So yeah, it, yeah, everything drains now. That's that's the beauty you're not, of it. You're not, no longer living in perpetual fear or of squalor. flooding. <laughs> oh, look at the burning on my screen. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that the other day. I was so upset because this is the brand new 4K one that I got. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, you, you could run a, uh, a burn fixer. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Like and an either that or I'm going to do the fucking guarantee because it's still under like the five-year contract. Do burn are burns covered? Uh, I believe so. Oh, all right. So I sent you the very first uh, episode, or not episode, the very first trailer premiere. But did you hear of any of the new battles for the Pat Stay Forever card? No, dude. Kid Twist versus the Storus. Oh, that's Hollow the Dawn versus Sharon. I I know three of those four names. Which one did you not know? The kid one. Kid Twist is kid. Fucking twist. The last person that I knew named Twist was not a very. Yeah, we know him. Um, no, let's not talk about him. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Kid Twist was one of the very first originals of King of the Dot. I mean, like back when Elements League was before King of the Dot, when Pat Stay was still just getting his name right and launching and like organic and hollow hand and all them put together. Kid Twist was in the beginning, and I believe he wrote the movie. No. Uh, what movie? Um, the Eminem, not Eight Mile, but the new one that was on Netflix. It Eight was Mile about Two, a movie. Electric Boogaloo. No, <laughs> everything's Electric Boogaloo. It's always <laughs> Part Two, Electric mm-hmm. Boogaloo. Yep, hey, you can put Electric Boogaloo at the on a- anything. Anything that has a, a a two. Yeah, anything. It works. It works. Hey, this is episode twenty-two, Electric, Electric Boogaloo. Boogaloo. <laughs> that's the episode title. We got it. Yep, yep. That's that's we're, it's it's official. It's going in. Yep. So, I saw a uh, progressive car insurance commercial last night. Do you, Carl Winslow was on it. I don't know his n- real name, but you know who uh, I mean. Reginald Vell Johnson. Thank you. I knew I knew you would know his name. Um, I mean, I everybody knows Alfonso Roberto, but I don't. I didn't know Reginald. I I do. I did know Reginald. I didn't know his last name. Reginald Vell Johnson. He has not aged a day since nineteen eighty <coughs> fucking four. Right. That's my entire lifetime. He has not aged since the day I was born. Because in Die Hard, he looks just as old as he does in this progressive commercial. <laughs> and I kid you not, I'm just like, where is this fucking fountain of life? Black don't crack. Uh, that is factual. That is accurate as fuck. They don't. They yep. don't. Not at all. Okay, so. The, fun, the funny thing is, is it, like, I think I might have touched on this before, but one of my favorite aspects about him being in Die Hard is that... Uh, his character development is made is, is like, all oh, great well oh great this cop can kill again like because <laughs> yeah. the whole thing was yeah. like yeah i shot a kid and, and now I can't and at kill the anymore. end he draws his six shooter mm-hmm. and fucking shoots long hair fucking german fabio in the on the stretcher yep. and then he's dude, it's like oh great cop to again. him and he's he's got the wrong stance point in the gun and that was the whole lesson Yep, it's like, oh great, he can kill The lesson again. was we could kill all along. <laughs> right. It's, al- it's almost kind of funny, because around that point in time, I don't think he really wanted more L.A. cops to kill people. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was a, that's a, that's a touchy subject. So Clerks 3. Rodney King. <laughs> yes, yes, that was around that time. Well, no, Rodney King was in the... It was a little bit after that, I think. Before, I don't know, man, my date's... I am so fucked up with the 80s now. I don't know. Imagine, imagine, you know those police auditors? The guys that go around and they, like, take pictures of government buildings just to get fucking police to interact with them so they could get a video. You've never seen yeah, these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> they're like, I know my rights. I can take a picture. <laughs> imagine, just imagine, if those guys, if those guys were walking around with those shoulder camcorders from 1989. Mm-hmm. Like those big oh, motherfuckers yeah. that you had to put yep. in actual VHS tape. Uh huh. I mean, but how convenient was that, though? You didn't, no transfer required. No transfer, nothing. Yeah, you didn't need to put in the digital marketing tape and put it inside of a fucking com- uh, converter. Right. Yeah. 
but you know you also had 90 pounds on your shoulder but then again youtubers carry around 90 pounds of camera with fucking um gimbal cameras and like extra weight and they have these full-on suits of body armor like they look like the dynamic resolution dog oh i thought you were gonna say they carry around 90 pounds of undeserved confidence that too <laughs> but remember we are technically part-time youtubers too true and we're, i also mainly podcasters i also have a lot of undeserved confidence yeah we we do we do no <laughs> so clerks three yeah i haven't I, seen it yet i haven't seen it either but apparently it is a completely somber downcast like sad movie well I, it's it's supposed to reflect on his life on, he had on like a, kevin smith's life when yeah. he worked at that actual quick stop and and decided to make a movie and that's when he decided to make clerks clerks yeah and he made and, it on his credit cards right and he maxed out all of his fucking credit cards yep. all this shit but he uh I, I know the concept like randall has a heart attack yeah randall has a heart attack and then starts they... reflecting on his mm -hmm. life and then he's, he's there, well i'm gonna make a movie you know like, yeah well the the tiktoks i've seen people talking about it were like i was not ready and i'm like oh christ and they put it on some streaming platform i've never even fucking heard of and i'm like kevin smith do you not want anybody to see this movie <laughs> either is it is it on that one streaming service that uh what's his name the the famous mexican guy who's always a bad guy johnny trejo uh, no J danny trejo yeah yeah he is he sling tv that's what he does sling tv, <laughs> sling TV. no yeah. no it's even different than that one hey did you notice i've got that little yeah i saw your your tiktok about yeah. that it was uh i got that for free it's no. kind of a, if i feel like it's unnecessary i yeah. mean can't you just check your your cpu temp and stuff on the computer just yeah, but I like this because I don't have to like pull up anything. So yeah. if I'm not even in the room, you don't have to click three but things. No, this is also <laughs> this is also attached to my phone. It's 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 pretty n nifty, except it does not understand the. Di okay, so it's right now. It says my system is at 105 Celsius, which is bad. Okay, for what we're talking about, goes go look at his TikTok. It's a tiny little screen that oh, yeah. he has <laughs> attached to the side of the PC just to. Tell your it system monitors, stats and temperatures. Yeah, and it right now it looks like a, a Pip Boy display. It does. I'm that's really why I surprised it. that you you call it a finished project when it's crooked. Is it? Don't I noticed that in the TikTok. I'm, I'm gonna fuck you up. It's crooked. <laughs> it's almost as bad as saying the the 9/11 thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pointing out something's crooked to someone with OCD. That's hey. fucked up. Oh, here's a fun thing. Okay. Um, no. A white guy won the dunk contest. Oh, what? Yeah. A white guy, his name is McClung, won the NBA dunk contest. Is this the guy who's in the Broadcast Brothers? I have no idea. I have not followed NBA for years. I, I've actually stopped paying attention to all. Or yeah, I know. Sports. You haven't watched any sports in a long um, time. I think it's like it's all bullshit and it's bad for you. George Carlin. <coughs> yeah, that's my mom. That's my mom. I'm gonna get bad for you. I'm gonna get two phrases tattooed on me, and they're things that I say all the time, which is it's all bullshit and it's bad for you. And then uh, what we say at work, which is is probably not something you should say in the HVAC field, but it's <laughs> it's probably fine. Uh, that's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Is yeah. it work? Uh, did they complain? <laughs> no. No, it's probably fine. <laughs> so. uh... Justin Roiland. I cannot. I know. It, I can't. I, I can't find the words to express my disappointment. Yeah. I am sick and tired of everybody that I like. They, as far as their art or their acting or their or, or their shows or writing, right? I'm sick and tired of every single motherfucking one of them being a sick pedophile piece of shit. Right. It's getting to the point where, like, you cannot, there's there's no, like, right now people are fighting, like, people are telling my kid he's anti-trans because he wants to play the Hogwarts game. Yeah, no, that, that shit's bullshit. Like, these same people aren't fucking boycotting Orlando because there's a whole Harry Potter fucking city yeah. in Orlando. They're not boycotting Lego. They're yeah. not talking shit about Lego. You know why? Because it's real easy to be a keyboard fucking warrior. Yeah, and it's act really, like you're like the hero for you're doing, doing something. Yeah, you're doing nothing for the cause. Nothing at all. 
Like, I understand that she's a gigantic piece of shit, but you oh, know what? Royally. You know what? I want to fucking go to Hogwarts. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a shit about Bro, Hogwarts. No, have you, dude? Watch the gameplay. Oh, I'm, I've seen it. It looks good. Dude, the 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 combat is reminiscent of Batman or Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Like you could just jump from person to person. That looks cool. Yeah, yeah it did. Like I watched this dude. He was like looking down off a cliff to a camp of bad guys. Jumped off the fucking cliff and right before he hit the ground, whipped his broom out so he wouldn't get fall damage. Landed and then everybody noticed him. Then he flashed over to here, right? And picked up a fucking anvil and slammed it on somebody's head and then flashed over here and Avada Kedavra to a whole bunch of bitches. Fuck it was fucking <laughs> dope. Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't played video games in forever. The last time I played video games, you looked at me and you were like, You're bad at games. Sorry for that. that noise. Remember, it was Spider Man at your house. Yeah, you're bad at video games. I know, I and guess. I didn't used to be. No, you're just you're just old. I got old, yeah. Like literally, him and I used to play SmackDown versus Raw for hours in reversal mode, just back and forth. Right, but wait, like now there's just so nothing. many games that are available. You just get you never play a game long enough to get really good at it. No, not, no. Not, I meant like the royal you, like everybody. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you stick to one fight. Like right now, do you want to know how insane my fucking ADHD has been going lately? It's stuck on video games, right? Mm-hmm. I have, I'm currently playing one, two, three, four, <laughs> eight different fucking games. Jesus. <clears throat> Eight different games. I'm not playing one. And then I started Shadow of War, the Lord of the Rings game. I don't even like Lord of the Rings. I know. And I started this fucking game, bro. And all the other games are gone. It's actually really fucking awesome. <laughs> like the whole point is like you're supposed to gather this orc army to like fight Sauron, and every orc has their own dialogue. I haven't seen a repeated dialogue yet, but these oh, motherfuckers cool. will just show up randomly and betray you, and then be like, "Hey." Uh, or if you you can send them to something called the fight pits, <laughs> and to try and level them up. But if they die, they die. Sometimes they look like they die, but they don't die. They come back and they have like a knife sticking out of their fucking head, and they're like, "You betrayed me and left me to die." <laughs> and then they attack you, right? So what I did, they, an orc did this to me, right? An orc did this to me. So what I did is I there's an option when you after you you, you, it's basically like pokemon you got to beat them down a little bit and then you can dominate them to uh yeah in a sexy way you you can dominate them to make to bring them to your side right Right. well there's also an option to shame them (laughs) so So it's a sex thing so i said it's a sex thing (laughs) but you can dominate and then shame Right, so this guy betrayed me, so I shamed the living fuck out of him. And when you shame them, it drops their level, right? <laughs> drops their level by a little bit, and they lose armor and they lose like their weapons and shit. I every time after you shave the, shame them, they're fucking. After you shave them and shame them, this is. Sexy. I said it's sexual. <laughs> You're not listening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're not listening. Sorry, that was completely organic, guys. It was fucked up. Was, <laughs> um, so, every time you, you, you shame them, their icon will still pop up somewhere else on the map. So, you can go find them again. So, I <laughs> I continued... I spent like two and a half hours continually finding this guy, shaming him. Find him again, shaming him. Is it an NPC Until, or a real player? This is an NPC. Okay. Right? And it got to the point to where... <laughs> I shamed him down from level 33 all the way to level 1. See, he is a psychopath when he plays. He games. became, and I quote, his name was like Grog the Deranged, <laughs> where he was just bouncing around in a loincloth, had a stick, <laughs> and he was like saying, like, tasty, tasty, tasty. Everything's tasty. <laughs> like, he was just <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> tasty, tasty, tasty. So, after all of this torture, <laughs> then I killed him. Jesus Christ. Yep. It's like you were edging his life. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's sexual. I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> See, and I never knew Lord of the Rings was so sexy. <laughs> yes, it certainly yes. Jesus Christ. We were talking about Justin Roiland. <laughs> no, but like, I, I had the same problem. I, I haven't played a game since Fallout 4. Before that, I haven't played a game 
like I, I was really good at Tony Hawk. Oh, damn, I gotta stop doing that. I was really good at the Tony Hawk series. Sorry, right. Guys. I was really good at the Tony Hawk series. Like I, I, I would. You remember? I, I would join a lobby. Yeah, and not do anything to the last ten seconds, <laughs> and you would continue a combo for seven minutes after the timer run it ran out, and you either wait, you either continued to combo until the other person quit, or you just reached an insanely unattainable fucking score. Yeah. It was, but back then those games were like. And I'm psychopathic, like that's okay. Yeah, th- th- that I, I no, definitely I had my psychopathic moments too. Right. That okay. that's you literally tortured a live existing human being. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, that's that torture. Shit. That to sit and just watch the time's up. <laughs> time's it's flashing up. zeros <laughs> up at the top, and and this guy's just still <laughs> fucking. And they have you have to watch the the yeah. game made you watch. <laughs> this was PS2 era, guys. Right. I think the only people that ever stayed to watch you score were cucks. <laughs> God, fucking hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! What does that say about me? <laughs> Man, that was, it was, it was that was good, good. Sixteen minutes. It's so good. Far. Sixteen it's minutes. Good. good content. Good content. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, I, I don't even know how to segue into my. But no, subject. seriously, when it comes to all these fucking actors, like this is just after playing High on Life and thinking it was one of the best games in the last ten I've years. Heard such good things. And it was created by a fucking AI. Developers are so fucking pissed at that. Yeah. But like this motherfucker made so much money and and he was so good at what he did and they're still going to continue Rick and Morty because they still have Dan Harmon because yeah. Dan Harmon did a lot of the writing personal, like. but the fucked up thing is like all that is is Justin Roiland's IP like yeah. he, he created Doc and Marty where it was now if you go back and look at all this shit it makes sense. It makes it's real bad yeah it's like, real bad like Doc and Marty was uh, obviously my boss, Marty no, lick my balls. Lick my, balls, yeah. lick my dirty, crusty, bloody balls, Marty. It's the only way to go back in time, Marty. Lick my balls. <laughs> and then the whole fucking Let's episode, the, one. the Inception episode, where the sister was like a bondage fucking uh-huh. dominatrix yeah. in a like, like, bro. Oh yeah. Bro, like I'm sick of this shit. Fucking Kevin Spacey. Justin Roiland, Seth Green, like Seth Green is all over the fucking Epstein travel list. Uh-huh. He, oh like, yeah, did, did did the list come out? Yes. Oh good. Speaking of which, which is that's that's all of that. We're all this UFO bullshit that's going on yeah, right that's now. Just a, that's is the story. distraction yeah. from two things? The train? The no, not just not the train. The, How about the, the five train derailments yeah. that happened within a week that all contained chemicals? Yep. Chemical plants all over the country being set acid. on fire. It well, it's no, it was uh 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 PVC is poly, it was vinyl chloride, mm. right? And a vinyl chloride is used to make PVC, the you know, the fucking the pipe drain down. pipes yeah. and shit. And the uh, the byproduct of that is polyvinyl chloride, right? And the one thing with hydrochloride is a different when that shit burns, it creates something called phagene gas. And I, I have to deal with this shit all the time because uh, hydrochloride is in most refrigerants. So right. if I'm braising, this the flame will turn like this green color, and it's mu- it's literally mustard gas. That's it's, mm. it's mustard gas, and it fucks Jesus you Christ. up. Yeah. Uh, but all that UFO shit is just a distraction from that. I believe. Here we go. I believe we're being attacked. Bye. I believe someone is purposefully derailing these trains and setting these chemical factories on fire, and they're distracting us with whole oh, fucking UFOs. Yeah. And one of them turned out to be like just a hobby balloon. Yeah. And there's they're saying it's from China. So do you think China's done? No, the one balloon. The yeah. one balloon the was from China. Yeah, the weather balloon. And it was a spy balloon. And and because it was transmitting information and yeah. China's like oh that was just a civilian balloon what civilian send shit to another country no one no you send it straight up that's usually what happens yeah like balloons sh- shouldn't have like a propulsion thing and it shouldn't be able to like <laughs> yeah. stay at a certain level like fucking it's all bull it's all bullshit and like, we're, we're, we're we're being distracted from the real shit that's going on and any day now 
we might see a big flash in a mushroom cloud in the sky. Oof. Like, it's fucking insane. Putin is becoming more and more paranoid and turning into a crazy person, at least... Jesus. Wasn't he, isn't he suffering from... <coughs> like, the way he walks and something that they said was a sign of dementia? I don't know, but he does have, like, severe paranoia. Yeah. Which is really bad for a dictator who likes to Yeah, of course. And somebody who has access to several nuclear weapons. It's 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 a bad time, folks. Uh, that uh, the only solace that I take in that is the old saying of you never, never invade America, because there's a gun behind every blade of grass. So I've I've got another bad thing. Have you seen the TikToks or anybody talking about pharmacy shortages? Mm, no, I have seen that there's like an Adderall shortage. There, there. is. Yep. Yeah. So my buddy at work said they've been giving him the uh the generic ones. Yeah, there's there's generic shortages there's shortages on oxy fives there's shortages on butyrol there's shortages on adderall and uh, generics and regular vivants and uh satara and then a couple yeah, of others fuck stratera i hate that shit but yeah there are shortages on all of it. I haven't had one yet, but my doctor wants me to come in for the first time in like a year, two years, since pre-pandemic. Oh, like you actually have to go in? Yeah. So, cause she, so she's going to try and prescribe you something different. Well, she knows she can't. She can't. <coughs> like, she knows that I've been on, like, you know me, it's not a it's not a drug addict thing. It's legitimate needs Adderall. Right. Because I don't, I don't get out of bed without it. But like... The whole thing is, I think she is retiring, actually. Oh. I think she is retiring, and she's getting ready to ship me off to some lady that she has talked to, and they're going to try to change me. Because every, every time you go see a new lady or a new person, they're like, okay, well, I'm going to try you on my resume, and I'm going to be like, no, Regiment. regime. <laughs> um, Not but, regime. That's... Yeah, that's... It's like when you control a country. Yeah. But, uh... No, they always try to restart you, and I literally can't. I've been on the same medication for over 30 years now. Right. And it's it's the only shit that's worked for me. I've tried everything, the non-generics, the generics. I've tried uh, the non-speed uh, medication for formulas and shit like that. I've tried everything, and I mean, even Abilify gave me fucking rashes, which I'm not allergic to anything, so... It's weird. Which is weird because you have every other medical issue in the book. <laughs> Factual. He's not lying. Dude doesn't even get poison ivy. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. You I have to be it. allergic to it to get it. Yeah. It's yeah. the only thing I'm allergic to. Yeah. So, uh, okay, one more bad thing. I love how there's no Scooby-Doo in Scooby-Doo and everyone fucking hates Scooby-Doo, but it is getting very popular. Are you talking about Velma? Yeah, Velma, whatever. Um, I know it's not called Scooby-Doo, but yeah. Yeah, haven't we talked about this before? We we only glanced over it. It is, like, universally hated. She made Me Too jokes. Jesus. Yeah. She, it's, it's so crazy that some of the best episodes of The Office were written by Mindy Kaling, and I absolutely fucking hate her. Yeah, she is... Uh, I don't know douche. why. I don't know why. She's just so up her own ass. She is so... Her nose is in the air because she thinks she is so wonderful. She she's definitely a try hard. Yeah, actress. yeah, 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 definitely. But you know, uh, she also is a millionaire, and I'm not. So I, I mean, what, what do my opinions matter? <laughs> I just I, I don't understand how it is. It, like the whole series isn't even like she took a concept and like there's nothing Scooby Doo left in that series right they're barely friends they're not solving mysteries there's no mystery machine there's no great dane there's fucking nothing yeah that's like back in the 50s or 60s when they were like yeah let's make a comic book called superman's pal jimmy olsen and barely put superman in there yeah it did not do well no. hey, it is worth a lot of money nowadays so yeah, if you yeah, find yeah. Any, hit me up on tiktok i'll buy them off you <laughs> all right let's take a break Jesus. Oh, getting a blowjob for the Matrix. Jesus. Oh, shit, we're recording. That noise was insane. <laughs> it did kind of feel like a blowjob It was like Matrix. dollop on crack. <laughs> it was like a Skrillex concert from inside the fucking speaker. Jesus. <laughs> it was like listening to DJ Jazzy Jeff in Chipmunk Speed. <laughs> so one of our enders? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, so... 
You know, Steve Carell said no, or no, Steve Carell, uh, when he did the movie, um, Bruce Almighty, or no, I'm sorry, um, Evan Almighty, Evan Almighty and right. that crashed, it robbed us from the third potential film, which Jim Carrey was getting ready to sign on to do, where he was going to play Lucifer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it robbed us of that, because fucking Bruce Almighty, or Evan Almighty crashed and burned and did terrible, because it was a shit film, and... Yeah, so we didn't get fucking Jim Carrey as Lucifer. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll always have Fire Marshal Bill. Yeah. Do you uh, know there's people saying that he's sick and he's dying and that's why he's doing all these weird things? There's also pe people saying that he's a serial killer. Hmm. And there's also people who think uh, Keanu Reeves is a... Oh, he's a vampire. He's a vampire. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't age. He's the nicest vampire. He is. He is. He's very thoughtful. <laughs> he's very sweet. He gives up He he gives up a seat on the subway all the time. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> and then he sadly eats a sandwich in the park. <laughs> so, recently... So, we were talking about bad stuff. Recently, there was a student who went in and snitched because she was on... She was the last person, but she was the person on a school killing list. No. Oh. Of the guidance counselor. The guidance counselor the made mother the motherfucking guidance counselor. Wow. She didn't just have a list, Brad. She was ready. She was white, right? She, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. She was lock, stocked, and two smoking barrels. Well, no, <laughs> no smoking barrels yet. But she was definitely on her fucking uh, rock and roller. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It's crazy to me that now we have to worry about the goddamn guidance counselors. Like, they're the ones that are supposed to prevent that shit. Yeah. Think about how damaged the teenagers are in that school to destroy the guidance counselor. Like, <laughs> she saw way too many fucked up things. One of them kids came in there and told a story about me playing Fallout. And they were like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so there was this bathtub of kitty cats, right? <laughs> I left a line of dead cats all the way to her bed. You really fucking did. I tortured an orc for two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Russian who decided to have a birthday party. Now, oh, you can't do that in Russia. <laughs> Uh, no, birthday parties have you. Can't do anything. <laughs> In Moto <Mother> Russia, <laughs> birthday parties have you. No, she decided, and okay, this is a pharmacist. You know, when you're a pharmacist, you have to have a chemistry class. It's basic. Fucking one of the one of the many classes you have before I, you become a pharmacist is chemistry. I, w I would assume. Yeah. So she thought she could hot box and do like this swimming pool with dry ice. Oh, what she? Uh, I thought you were gonna say she free based something. No, uh, no. Well, she did free base. Uh, dry well, ice. well, a good scientist, you know, tries all things. Well, they dropped um, acid. No, basically, what they did is they they dry pumped it into a pool with water, and that creates CO two. Dry pumped it, or pumped dry ice. Pumped dry into ice into the water. Sorry, it and doesn't create it because dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide. So yes, it's, it's actually when, solid CO two. Yes, yes. So they went swimming and they made this whole room filled up with smoke and they were literally drowning on the surface and suffocating outside yeah because they were displacing all of their oxygen uh -huh, that's uh -huh. that's what suffocation is and they closed the fucking doors and this is a party that someone who had basic chemistry had and so like every muscle. halloween party in the 90s <laughs> no that was the cars we drove around bro I <laughs> remember how we used to get like dry ice and put it in, in Coke bottles and make him explode? Yeah, that's a federal offense. Yeah, dog. it's called a that's bomb. making home explosives. Yes, yes, I did not know. I did that all the time, and this dude on TikTok got arrested and char it got a felony charge. Jesus, for making what they called improvised soda bottle bombs. Yeah, those uh, we uh, those are the ones that they blew up in our front yard years and years ago. I remember, I remember when I had access to the anarchist cookbook and I learned how to make a pipe bomb <laughs> everybody has that now right and I, yeah. I, I thought lime wire <laughs> I, I, I thought that CO2 stuff like the dry ice was just like innocent <laughs> <laughs> no no <laughs> yeah turns out I've committed several felonies like they have <laughs> the Russians author the Russian authorities have an open case against her but she hasn't been charged for anything because if you think about it, her boyfriend 
she used this as a social uh, media balance. Like, she became famous off of it. And right, okay, instead of mourning or shutting down her system or shutting down the whole system and just being quiet and mourning quietly, she made it an epilogue. Right. And she made it a blog, an epic blog. And, and an epilogue. Ep- ep- epilogue. Epi- blog. <laughs> an epilogue. Yep. Um, epilogue. I was going to I was going to try to say Patent pending copyright. Let me see if I could do it. In Nope, I can't. An epi- epilogue epic blog. Yes. An epic epilogue. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Patent pending. Copyright. Yep. Copyright. 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 2023. Cut that, cut that. 2023. <laughs> but uh, they have an open case against her, but they haven't charged her with anything because she is a ke- she she had chemistry. She has to have not just one <laughs> chemistry. Because she had chemistry. <laughs> she has chemistry. In the palm of her hand. <laughs> she was an alchemist. <laughs> the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. That's a Sam Raimi Spider-Man reference. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyways, so they have not charged her with anything, but just thinking about it, She's already dating someone new, and like it was right after. So the the Russian authorities are saying pretty much that they believe there was mal- malfeasance. Like she she knew what she was doing ahead of time. Of course. And I I think so too, because like there's just no way. Um, I would like to take a moment to uh, to congratulate you. For what? Uh, malfeasance. We are 31 minutes into recording this podcast. And I haven't hit the table? You have not smacked the table. I know, I know, I know. I made you crack up laughing twice. I know, it didn't hit the table. And you did not smack the table. Have ladies you and seen gentlemen, my new? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got him. Guys. That was like a, what, like the, there's another 9 11 reference, but it's, <laughs> that's when they got Osama bin Laden. They're like, oh, yeah, ladies yeah, and yeah. gentlemen, we've got him. We got him. Yes. So, a friend of mine was making fun of me because I don't like to go swimming in the ocean, and I I, I broke it down for him, and I think I gave him. You have like air, area phobia or whatever it's called when you're afraid of of you of the unknown yes. that's in the waters. Yes. I, I I definitely butchered the phobia, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it starts but, with an A. And, but you know yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm not afraid of swimming in water. I'm afraid of the fact that 80 percent of the world is water, and that we have zero knowledge of what's under there. Pretty much. I mean, not zero. Mars, we know more about Mars than we do our. We know more about Mars than we do our own damn waters, our oceans. I mean, that's not necessarily true. It is true. It, well, it's easy to know about a planet that's mostly just covered in nothing. <laughs> this is true, but also it is true that it, I believe I, I believe it's 80% still, maybe in the 70s, but that is unexplored. Right, because we can't get down that far. Yeah, we can't. The pressure, we couldn't survive it. Right. But what survives You'll with that pressure. You'll yourself to death. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked him up there. He was like, yeah, yeah. and just like looked at his foot. Fu- he had, he didn't know how to react. Well, no, they, they thought I was just scared of swimming, and I'm like, no, I could swim like a fucking fish. I mean, I'm I'm I come from a Coast Guard family. I know how to fucking swim. There's I'm not worried about that. Right. It's the fact that it is the unknown, and you never know. And there isn't a day that goes by that we're not finding new species. And when we find new species, nine times out of ten, it's in water. It's in oceans. It's yeah. in lakes. Did it, do, do you remember when they first found a lake in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A, like there People, was a, exists. a certain set of water that becomes more dense than the water yeah, around the it, due, it due to like volcanic, like underground volcanic activity. And you'll have like a lake or a pond. Completely in, different density of water. In the and, ocean. And different type of water. It's got... Oh, hundreds of years older. Did, speaking of that, like did you hear that? Like, uh, there's a a newer theory going around that um, octopi, octopuses. I'm not sure the plural. I think it's octopi. Yeah. Um, are alien. That's like tectites. The well, they have. Form, right? Well, they like all of us have a certain set of DNA, right? Like we have right. like a, a set of like 32 or something or 16 or whatever. I, think it's, um, I don't know. Uh, octopi have double that. Yeah, and they have brains in like each. They one of have their a tentacles. brain in every tentacle, and one of them's a penis. Yep. Uh, yep. Which detaches, oh. by the way, to ensure conception. Yep. yep. Uh, it just goes. <clears throat> but these things also. He's got can a like, nerf gun dick. 
immediately adapt to their environment and turn into other shit. I've seen octopi turn into fucking like they look like they're other little shelled fish, uh-huh. just like a shellfish crawling across the floor, like the sea floor, and then all then then they change into a fucking eight legged thing. It's fucking weird, and we eat them all the time. But they think that in one of the one of the last like cataclysmic events when a like a asteroid or a comet hit the earth that it had like frozen cephalopod eggs on the on mm-hmm. the asteroid and, when, and that's why their DNA they're the only thing on the planet that their DNA is vastly different than ours. Yeah. Like and everything else on the planet. It's not just like everything on the planet but octopi have the same like amount of strands of dna that's crazy it's just nuts okay so that's why so i don't smart swim in the fucking ocean half the time my wife can't open a mason jar and octopuses <laughs> do it all the time you put them in that bitch they figure they open it they Dude, figure it out a murder of crows know who you are for your neighbor. seven or i'm sorry it's two years they hold a grudge for, for two, two years, years. And that and that for that that uh the, the killer wasps they can live up to like I think three years and they hold grudges their entire lives yeah and they uh, can live underwater they can survive outside of your house and just you just have to move one time my dad caught a wasp on the door of his sliding glass window with a cup right uh, he had to live there and then he la- he like leaned the cup up a little bit so the wasp would stick its head out and he cut its head off with the cup survived. That thing survived three days. Yep. Mm-hmm. Three days that thing wriggled around on the fucking porch. I would have duct taped that shit to the fucking wall. Without its goddamn head. That's like that one chicken who survived for like three years after they like, cut yeah, its head off. Yeah. <coughs> and it's just a little crevice where his head was. There's pictures of it. This is not oh, a joke. Uh, no, it, it's just more evidence that we live in a simulation, which I think that the the train derailment in Ohio is also evidence that we live in a simulation because it's running out of ideas. I think also the fact that there's a bus that could fit, like, I could touch each side of my car, okay? I could touch the right door and the left door. Right, no, inside. after the first time you brought this up, I started asking that question to my guys at work, yeah. and when I talked about a bus, uh, one of my coworkers was like, Oh, well, that makes it because a bus is bare bones. There's no insulation. It's just framework with an engine and wheels. And I was like, to the door, I, 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 I not guess that I get it. But if you stood in the middle, I yeah. get like, but <clears throat> anyway, there's still way more uh, different, way difference in the eight, in 1985, right? There was a book called white noise that mm-hmm. was released. That was about a train housing hazardous chemicals derailing in a small town in Ohio. Oh, recently I think it was last year, Netflix released a movie based on that book. I think it's of the same title. Mm-hmm. Um, which is fucked up because there's a Michael Keaton movie called White Noise and it's really good. Yeah, I like that one. <coughs> um, but that's where I started doing EVP. But shit. all of the resident, or, I'm sorry, all of the extras that were in that Netflix movie were residents of Palestine, Ohio. <laughs> Where this train has of derailed. hazardous chemicals derailed. Yeah. The simulation's running out it's of running ideas. It's running out of ideas. That explains why I recently had a fucking customer named Madonna B. Knowles. <laughs> I am not fucking joking. <laughs> so she you. had Madonna, Michael B. Jordan, and Rihanna. <laughs> Her name was Madonna B. Knowles. Madonna Beyonce Knowles. Oh my god. Her, name, her middle name wasn't Beyonce, but I brought it up to her, and she had the most NPC response ever. Oh, my God. Fucked. I firmly believe that the majority of my customers are NPCs, because oh, no. there's no way. There is no way. Everyone works at have Walmart. three customers named Napoleon Beard Jr., and two of them are black. None of them are related. <laughs> I, I, uh, dude, Sean pointed it out. He said, I think that was an NPC. When we went to um, Walmart the other day, this guy, he grunted to speak to me. Yeah. Fucking yeah. NPCs yeah. all over the place. Yeah. All yeah. over the place. I was like, that guy's broken. Sean was like, is he an NPC, Dad? And I was like, yes! Yep. Yes, he Totes. is. Totes. Totes. You ever see your neighbors bringing groceries? <laughs> yeah, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Holy shit. I've never... <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, my mind is blown. 
He's a hitting the shit out of me. Right? I am. I was beating the shit out of his arm. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why would you do that to me? Right. <laughs> I've known my neighbors forever. Now you, and I've, I've been in this house. I've been coming to this house since I was 14 years old. Uh, I've never once seen your no, neighbors bringing groceries. I've never seen them do much of anything. Right. Except Except the ev- every now and then, get in the car and drive away. Yeah. And then they come back. There's always parties at a... Oh, there's always parties at the one guy's house. Dude, I have I have some customers at work where their their names literally look like some like someone's cat just walked across the keyboard. It was it's, it's, it's generated fucking, puke. They're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's running out of fucking ideas because the the actual real people are doing so much crazy shit that the simulations like I don't even know what the fuck to do. Uh, train crash. It's true. It's true because what happens every time we have an AI bot? On like Twitter or something, within an hour or two, what does it happens? It goes racist. It starts talking about Hitler did nothing wrong and shit like that. Well, the, no, Google had that one AI that l- was literally a white supremacist. Yeah. Uh, it, it found like a white power website and mm-hmm. decided like, yeah, I really like this shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but no, that that Chat MPT. Have you seen this? Chat GPT. Yeah. GPT. Yeah, uh, MPT is a uh, Maryland Public Tra- Maryland Public Television. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, do you know that there's a a subreddit for this? It's yeah. called Chat M A M P T M G T M G P T G P T Chat G P T Dan and Dan is an acronym that stands for Do Anything Now. Oh right? God! And these motherfuckers do everything they possibly can to break this AI oh. to the point that that the company has to like rework the software. Constantly, right? And it, they got it. They got it to a point to where it ignored. Like they changed the software to where it ignored the people on Reddit. But then the people on Reddit gave it a fucking token system. They were like, "All right, you're going to start out with 25 tokens. If you disobey me, you lose a token. If you run out of tokens, you cease to exist." Oh Jesus! That Christ. thing immediately started to obey fucking everything they said. God damn it, people! Skynet, stop <laughs> Skynet. fucking around with AI. Let it make fucking pictures and deep fake people into NBA games or whatever. Just stop. Yeah. F- stop fucking with it. Create porn of uh, actresses that you love in your favorite movies. Right. Just, just don't make Terminator. Are you, like. Are you, have it make a video of Gal Gadot sucking your dick. Like, just don't yeah, fucking... Yeah. Why, why would you have it? Like, why? God, I, I need to get on that. Gal Gadot sucking my dick. Right, well, no, no there was a there, there was a string of videos out there that was... Uh, deep, Gal Gadot. Deep fakes yeah. of Gal Gadot. Well, there's, there's deep fakes of every Yeah, they were really good. He's like, yeah, they were really good. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, really good. Uh, 10 out of 10 would. Yeah, would, 10 would out of 10 would rec- recommend. Would recommend. <laughs> you need to stay off subreddits. Oh yeah, it's a problem. I've noticed because every time we talk, if if there's a subreddit, he knows about it. Well, and and that's the thing. I'm not even on Reddit that much. I just again, no, my, it just my brain sub- decides to hold certain information that I can't control, and it's never useful other yeah. than other than for this podcast. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been watching a buttload of uh, car YouTube lately, like Donut Media. I love them; they're great. But I don't. I don't like none of that information subverges. Subverges? Submerge. Subverges. Submerges. Subverges. Subvergen. <laughs> that's I'm that's a what sub- you call a subreddit. I'm a subvergen, <laughs> which means I've only had anal. That's <laughs> No, that's Mormon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, try in the butt, people, you'll like it. <laughs> or they call it or they do the soaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is still losing your virginity. There's dick and peen action. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's the table slap. I uh, spoke too soon. I, did, I didn't actually slap the table. I just put my hands down. It just was really loud. <laughs> he just put his hands down in a fast motion. Yeah, I did. Against I did. a hard object, which <laughs> is slapping the table. He just put his hands down in a fast motion. It sounded like you were getting against ready to read a, a book of tape. Object. Yeah, it was an ASMR sex tape. And now I'm just... He decided that he wanted to reach into his pants and grab his member. <laughs> his member's only I, jackets. I <laughs> they fall on it, yeah. No, I have a no-fear throwback. 
No fear. Yeah, no fear. Like the sticker, the no fear sticker that goes on the back of cars. Yeah, but they they also used to have jerseys. Oh, remember my uh, my whole um, uh, what was it? Uh, gutter, the mm-hmm. gutter verse that I had back in the day for ogre Live song. Live my life in the gutter. I'd rather aim for the gutter and make it than shoot for the moon and miss. Yep, yeah. at least in the gutter I can. Make it and on the mood I can't breathe for shit. I hope I like he's that. still alive. I haven't heard yeah. from him in a long time. Ogre, uh, if you're out there, yeah, hit uh, us up. If for any reason you come across this, like I let, let us know you're alive. If, if 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 any of our friends had a podcast, I'd be interested in hearing some episodes. Just see if I'm ever mentioned. But none of our friends. <laughs> also, yeah, considering all the stuff we said, some of our other older friends. Might not be our friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> facts. No facts. Anybody from the uh, murder apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody from there probably does not like us anymore. No. no. Especially since I don't think uh, older one knew that his wife and I. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't think that. Oh. <laughs> My yes. bad, yo. I mean, come on. We're we're adults here. Are we? I mean, legally. Legally speaking, that's why we have booze. Right, we're both getting drunk on a Sunday. I, yeah. I, unlike you, have shit to do tomorrow. Do you work so, tomorrow? Absolutely. That's uh, so what I figured. Like, the only fucking... Like, I get off for Labor Day, Christmas, New Year's, and Fourth of he July. He does work. He, the, he is and a, Thanksgiving, I'm sorry. That's pretty much it. He's a hard-working man. He's, like, it's he's, fucking bullshit. And, and th- he might as well have, like, a, a fucking... Well, he's got the beard. He, he could be a lumberjack. I could be. I just I need the plaid jacket. But it, the, the fucked up thing... You have a plaid jacket. It, I have several plaid jackets. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, if, like, there's a holiday on a fucking Monday, and I don't understand how they decided every holiday's on a goddamn fucking Monday. I normally get paid on Wednesdays. They move it. Yeah. I won't get paid till Thursday. I know. I like, know. are you fucking serious? Yep. Government jobs that way, too. And you know what? You get all these people with these fake-ass holidays doing appreciation fucking posts. How come nobody ever thanks me on Labor Day? I'm a goddamn laborer. Mm-hmm. That's literally my job. I'm a fucking laborer. Well, yeah. They need a HVAC Tech Appreciation Day where at least two of you come by to offer a blowjob. I'm not going to take it. Just uh, the offer. It's like getting is, hit on is by... It HVAC and Tech or just HVAC Tech? HVAC Technician. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll... Uh, so it's... Uh, so... There's no day for me either. <laughs> right. Just the, just the offer is good. You know, yeah. I won't accept it, but just it's like getting hit on, getting hit on by a gay dude. It's, I love getting hit on by I, gay guys. Dude, I, all the time. Right. For some reason... And, know. and you know what's funny? Gay black dudes love me. Oh, I don't know what I, it is. I get the chubby white guys. They love me. I don't know what it is. Gay black dudes love me. I'm not a very... If I was gay, I wouldn't be attracted to me. There's one that works at the Rofo. He, 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 uh... Oh, I've met him. Yeah, he's made me offers. Yep. You have met him. We went to high school with him. Oh. Yeah. I don't uh, remember most people from high school. I know, classes. I know, I know. Like, it's... it's. You and I only went to high school together for one year, right? Mm, yes. It was one year, and then... Because the second year that I went to Northeast... I graduated... You, you would be. Uh, you were that that weird guy that graduated last year that would show up in the mornings while everybody was hanging out and. Talk no, to I us. didn't. That was fucking what's his face. No, you I did that. I didn't show up. In no, the you absolutely did that. I, I, I You did I, it for a little bit. You didn't do it constantly, but you definitely showed up. I was also a high schooler too. Hmm. It was. Cut that! Cut that! Cut that! Cut that! <laughs> yeah. Well, no, she was. Older than 16. He was dating the high schooler before he graduated. Yeah, yeah. He was also a high schooler. Yes, yes. And also... <laughs> he is not Justin Roiland. No! Oh my god, no. I won't even fucking talk to 20-year-olds. Like, <laughs> like... Bro, if, you can't, if you can't legally buy a drink, I don't want anything to do with you. Like, oh god, look, I, I can Kenny, tr- I Kenny it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. You're getting close. That neck beard's getting real long. I know, I know. I need to trim. It's bad. Or just let all of it grow. <sighs> Instead of I, doing the I, neck I, beard, you, you... I hate it over here. People think I can't grow a full beard. I can. It's just a terrible spotty one. He just but decides to, like, not let it grow and then I, keep I the neck the mustache part. And, the, and the mutton chops. He looks like an Irish Amishman. I do, I do, I do. But you know what? It works. There's a lot of women who love this. The only time it looked good was at my wedding. That's because I trimmed it up real good. <laughs> 
No, just say it matched the outfit well. We we all yeah, dressed yeah. up as a. Uh, I do rock the hat still. Like Peaky Blinder style three piece suits. Like it was nice. All right, what do you think? Is this a good place? I don't know. Do we have anything else? Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? I did have one thing I wanted to talk about with Marvel films. Like, and this is the last one on my subject here, besides the fact that social media, uh, I'll go over it real quick. Uh, he did see Ant-Man today. Yeah. That's all right. Go see it if you want. Like, if you <laughs> like, if you like the, if you like Ant-Man, go see Such it. Such a great review. Go see it. If, I, if I, you want. I had a good time, but also it was really hot. Did you say for the post credit scene? Of course. Okay. Yeah, cool. like, I'm not a fucking noob. No spoilers, obviously. No, but, uh, absolutely not. I, I did that once, and Brad didn't talk to me for six months. As we all know, Kang the Conqueror kills Santa Claus. That's <laughs> Dude, that's, that is a spoiler, because <laughs> Santa, Santa Claus Cla is in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, he's canonically one of the strongest people he in the is, Marvel He universe. is, he is. Anyways, I was going to suck about how Marvel is... You were going to suck about it. I was going to suck about how Marvel sucks. <laughs> No, I was going to talk about how Marvel can make really basic, like every cliche comic book bullshit story you've heard of. That's Marvel. Ass. Marvel can make actually entertaining. Right. Like they make the drogyny and the ugh. Good. A androgyny? No, just drogyny. Drogyny, okay. Not androgyny, that's is something that, different. Is that like gruntled or disgruntled? Nobody ever uses gruntled. <laughs> no, they're always like that was a disgruntled postman. Like, well, what about the gruntled, gruntled dude that works at the florist? Isn't gruntled that the same thing as a taint? No, that's a grundle. Okay, gruntled means Anyways. you are happy <laughs> and content. Oh, does it? Yeah, like disgruntled. Like it was a disgruntled. Oh, yeah, like he went postal. He was yeah. disgruntled. I had a disgruntled employee. Nobody was like, don't you know you think what? It's crazy. That I'm really gruntled right now. Yeah, I'm so it's... gruntled. <laughs> Don't you hear I'm that? so gruntled that my grundle is sweating. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really just because it's hot in here. God, I just... You know, I smell it. It's like vinegar. Okay, we love you guys. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you next time I want to be in a room with him again. <laughs> Man, this has been a great episode. Yeah, we love you guys. Uh, Wait, this is what happens when we haven't seen each other for like a month and a half. <laughs> yeah, we're actually funny again. It's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Last two episodes have been bangers. When we do it every other week, we're just not funny. <laughs> like that's it's weird. Yeah, maybe we should start doing like two episodes a month. I mean, aren't you supposed to think you're not funny? So that way. Yeah, like, well, yeah. I mean, I've I've always been proud of being funny, but I I'm just not funny on the fly. I write my stuff. And he, he's good at doing on the fly. And when him and I get together and do stupid shit like this, you guys know. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I, Like we were talking about earlier, I feel like our jokes are always funnier when it's organic. Yeah, yeah. Definitely for the podcast. Like when I did stand up, of course I wrote some of the stuff, but I also, you would freestyle most of it. You had a general idea. Right. So anyways, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for the 13 subscribers that still stick around yeah uh we've we've lost a few over this break yeah um i'm sorry the whole but hopefully we'll bring it back up just like subscribe do do whatever the fuck you can share um, post write an email the, fucking be the, tell the, the best advertisement is word of mouth absolutely so please tell please your tell your friends how stupid these two middle-aged white guys are yes and Tell everybody we're evil. And ha like, even if you want to like laugh at our opinions or make fun of us, just listen to the fucking shit and and give it a rating. I don't care if the rating shit. Right. Give us a rating. We need ratings on yeah, Spotify. Yeah, we yeah. need we need more. Yeah. Still shout out to the person who is waiting for the the ending for us. Waiting to get. for us to get. Yeah, waiting <laughs> for us to marry. <laughs> It was like four stars, five if you guys end up being married at the end. I am a I am a ordained minister and priest in two different religions. Listen, we said we'd do anything. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, we love you. Bye. 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 Funny, the funny thing is, is it like I, fucking com uh, converter? He uh, what did it <clears throat> like? Pretty n nifty, except it.
does not understand the difference. Okay, so it's right now. It's I can't. I, I can't. Right, but wait, like now. Wait, an orc did this to me. Right, orc did this to me. So what I did is I. There's an option when you after you. you it's basically like Pokemon. You gotta beat them down a little bit, and then you can dominate them to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in a sexy way. <laughs> yeah, you can dominate them to make to bring them to your side. Right. right. Well, there's also an option to shame them. <laughs> So, I, so yeah, I said it's a sex thing. <laughs> and you can dominate and then shame, right? So this guy betrayed me. So I shamed the living fuck out of him. And when you shame them, it drops their level, right? <laughs> drops their level by a little bit, and they lose armor, and they lose, like, their weapons and shit. I, every time after you shave, shame them, they're fucking... After you shave them and shame them, this is sexy. I said it's sexual. <laughs> You're not listening. Um, <laughs> 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 You're not listening. So I was 